Okay, so we ran into an issue yesterday trying to install Radix where my Ubuntu was at 18.4 and the Radix node needed a, um, the, uh, the glib, I think that's what it's called, that is in Ubuntu 20.04 or 20.4. So I had to do an upgrade, and let me show you. I went through the process, and I ran into an issue where, let's see, that's, where I ran into an issue that, I would get this error when I tried to do do release upgrade and this apparently is a known bug and this is what the first recommended solution was and it didn't quite work it was still giving me the problems so what I ended up having to do is let's see if I why, uh, why is this? I'm looking at the wrong thing here, not what I want to look at. Um, let's see if I can bring it in here. I had a, uh, let's see, let's do it here. At Updatable. So, hopefully, you're seeing this. Yeah. So, what you have to, what I ended up having to do is do apt list upgradable. And let me show you that. Um, apt list dot dot and it there's nothing right now there were a few items that um were from python 2 excuse me which i'm not using i'm now most i've seen it occasionally in some of some software that includes a Python scriptability, if you will, like Houdini and C4D, some 3D software. But generally, people are on 3.6, 3.7 of Python at this point. So it had some stuff from Python 2 that I had to get rid of and rerun the commands. So there is a, an, uh, what is it? Let's see if I can find it. There is an apt remove. Yeah. So that should have apt get remove. And you can remove the packages that are not being used. There was another recommendation like uninstall automatic or something like that. Uh, let's see. It has it here. Anyways, once I got it done, that done, it would finally, finally, I did that and then once it was clean, I did the apt update, apt upgrade again. And it finally decided it was going to do the uh, update. Now, I did it on a command line, and it took some time. Now, one thing is it will, um, it will turn around and uh, 
do, um, what was I going to say? It will stop and say, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? So if you're not paying attention, it really can take some time because, you know, you walk away and it does a little bit and stops and you come back. So kind of keep checking it. So this way it will um, actually, you know, complete without limiting time. This is not a quick thing. This is not a you know 30 minute or something like that it takes some time so plan for that if you need to upgrade to Ubuntu 20. Uh, many of you might be using other platforms and etc and so forth. So anyway enough of that um, certainly post the, if you run into issues in doing this uh, post something in the, in the uh, comments and uh, I will see if I, I will try to give you a hand on that. Uh, can't guarantee <laughs> anything with this stuff, but we will, uh, we will certainly try to, to help you. Let me see where my documentation disappeared. Here we go. I moved it over. Okay. So the next thing that we had to do to get this on is... Radix node and and it's going to go do its thing. That's the problem. All right. Well, I think we're going to have to stop because I ran into an issue that it's not finding use a local bin docker now i'm not sure why that's the case because um so okay i'm gonna bring up go back to this screen here and uh, we're gonna have to do some stuff on um, on the system before we can uh, uh, we're gonna have to do some stuff on this before we can call get this to go and get this going so um, anyway you can see though we did resolve the issue of it not uh, running correctly or not not being able to install it the password situation uh, is uh, basically the the next that's the next step is getting the password in and uh, it looks like it's looking for uh, Docker in a very specific location. What does that mean? That pr basically means I'm probably going to have to just do a, a symbolic link to Docker to that particular location. And um, then, hopefully, it should go smoothly. Anyway, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, first, uh, if you are using Ubuntu and you do need to do an upgrade, hopefully these tips that I provided will uh, keep you from wasting a lot of time and let you clean your, get your system cleaned up. Uh, apparently Ubuntu likes a totally updated system before it's going to let you upgrade and be aware it can take time. There's also a graphical uh, option that you have if you like that. I didn't really care as long as it did what I needed it to do. Uh, and um, it also looks like DACA is a little fussy in terms of running when you're running it with uh, a <clears throat> Radix node. My guess it's it this is a Python, some kind of Python script or Python app and uh, or at least uses python and it looks like it hard-coded 
a location for Docker, which seems kind of weird because, it, I mean, I can go right here now and show you that Docker is, ah, that's, here's the problem. Here's a problem. Exit SSH. Okay. Okay. So we're going to continue on this. Um, I want to stop this now and uh, see see what's going on with the. Um, uh, the password. I don't think this has anything to do with it. I think it, I need that link because it's just not finding what it needs to find. But it could be that it added stuff into the um, bash that uh, it is causing this. Anyway, I will speak to you all next time. Uh, and, uh, we'll get this thing going. Uh, take care. Uh, by the way, uh, please like, share, uh, tell your friends and all, all that stuff. Um, and I uh, forgot, always have to mention that. So I will speak to you all next time.